and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I am Damien and I'm a freelance artist slash illustrator. Also, back again with my mic. I managed to find an adapter though, so I can plug it into my phone instead of having to record on my laptop and then record on my phone. But yeah, also, I've got something exciting to do today. So basically, I painted this skateboard ages ago. Yeah and I want to sell it but first I have to like varnish it so I brought this crystal clear varnisher so we'll hope it works well it's quick drying it doesn't change the color it's like a clear top coat for interior and exterior use and for use on wood and it's long lasting the professional finish but the only thing is it's um like a gloss finish and this is like matte but and I kind of like the matte finish but I'm sure if I sand it after, like if I gloss it, give it a light sand and then gloss it and then give it a light sand, but I, I'm probably not going to do that, I'm just going to probably gloss it, <laughs> but yeah. Also I've got an order, so you'll probably see me packing some orders, and what I tend to do is I usually keep all my Amazon packages, like Amazon pack like this. So I've got this, I'm not going to like, and then obviously I need to take my dress off. But I've got this, and I've got this punch needle to stand out. So what I'm going to do is, obviously some of these little bits have, they've got little bits here. So I'm going to obviously wrap it up, like nicely, pop it in there, and then go like this, and then obviously close it, and then like tape it up really securely, and then it's like, I usually take these ends as well, just so nothing comes well. Also, eco friendly and reason faction. But yeah, uh, I think that's it. All oh, also yesterday, uh, these are currently drying. If you can see them, but yeah, this one is gonna be like a coaster, but the rest is like a pre the little design thing. I think I already said before. I've also had some brain thinking. So, well, I've got some of this clay and basically I used it to make these a while ago which is this one and this one if they even <laughs> yeah and they're not as colourful as I want them to be like my, I've got more colourful things so I'm gonna redesign it but make it like 2D I, I basically I'm gonna take these parts so obviously the flower is like this, very flat. I'm gonna take that, make a flat pot, and ignore the design of this as well, but take, have a flat pot, glue them all into this um, shadow box frame, and then let's see how they look, because this could potentially be cause like a wall hanging. But yeah, so I'm gonna do that too as well. So I'm gonna package up this order now, and you can actually watch me instead of me forgetting to film, like I usually do. <laughs> package up that order and I took it apart because I just thought it was a bit flimsy so I wrapped it in another layer of bubble wrap and cardboard because also it's going to America so it needs to hold up so basically I've got it now packaged in this instead like a little customs thing because you know all that stuff now but yeah so I'm gonna go post that and I've also got this cute little one as well so I'm going to post that as well. And I've also posted my giveaway. But yeah, see you in a bit.
just hit 2k on Instagram and what well, I hit 2k on like Monday or something and I just checked it now and it's like nearly at 2500 which is insane so thank you all for the support and two of my reels have like got so many views like so many fucking views like one of them has got 23k and the one um, at the moment has got 58k like I just can't it's, and then I posted three videos on TikTok and one got 48k and then the other one got like 15k and I just I can't it's like I just can't <laughs> oh, so that's like really happy and all the hard work is finally paying off <laughs> but yeah so I just wanted to hop on and this video has been actually very productive like I've been pushing myself to do and finish everything for my Etsy shop, but also I've um, been like good at managing. So usually, so I'm doing my tote bags at the moment and I finished them all and I started them yesterday, but I took it slowly. So I did all the layers, made sure they dry, did everything. But also I was wor I was working on them till usually, the last time I did the tote bags, sorry, this is all such a ramble, but the last time I did my tote bags, um, I was working till like 3, 4 a.m. and I ended up putting a spelling mistake in it. By this time I took it slowly and I actually stopped um, doing art and doing my tote bags at like 11 o'clock. And then I was just like, right, I'm just gonna rest, go to bed. And then I woke up at seven and continued. And that way it seems to work better for me. So yeah. And what else? Oh, also thanks for all the new followers as well on YouTube. Oh, wow. So they are still a little bit wet, but this is it. So yeah, 
but this time it hasn't got the apostrophe so it's the correct spelling for all the people who were coming at me in the comments last time <laughs> but yeah and I've got um, I also showed this in the previous thing but this is the spray I used to seal my skateboard and this is what it currently looks like it actually looks really nice it made the colors like so much more vibrant it is a little bit glossy but I kind of like it I think I need to give it maybe like two more coats though because I did it really thinly because I didn't really want to overcoat it and make it too thick and runny so yeah also I painted my clay piece I'm still painting the you'll see it in a second I haven't painted one of them but the other one I have painted which is the light monstera so I did this little thing it's actually, it's actually really cute I'm probably going to put some fabric on the back of it but I painted my colourful design and it's basically going to be like a coaster so for example like it will just sit on like that, like a little coaster, which I think is really cute. So I'm going to do a couple more and obviously finish the back and then put like a piece of felt or a piece of canvas so that it doesn't like scratch anything. Obviously it's just a piece of thing, it's a piece of clay so it's not going to leave any scratches anyway. But yeah, and I also sprayed it with this. So that's why it looks like a little bit shiny. I'm going to do another coat though, but that's why it looks like cool and shiny. And what else? Oh, haul time. I got, I'm actually so excited about these. I'm gonna have to flip the camera around as well because I just, yeah, my postcards arrived. So this is what I got. I got 200, so I got 100 of one design, 100 of another design. And do I even have my, oh, I don't even have any old postcards that I can show. But I've already opened them and I am in love with them. They are so nice. So here's one of them kind of shop and that's obviously the back and there's the front I do a close-up of it though but the colors turned out so nice they turned out exactly how I wanted here's the second design oh. so here's the second design so that's obviously the front and that's the back but yeah I do some close-ups because I am obsessed and they just look so sick and also because I need more storage I ordered these from the works and it was two for five pounds so I basically got four little small crates that's what they look like storage crates I don't like the color of them though so I'm thinking of spray painting them don't know what, don't know what color yet also because I don't want to do it yet until the moves happened i haven't said it yet but i'm actually moving somewhere i'm moving out of maidenhead somewhere else and i will have a studio space well i'll have a bedroom but instead of like sleeping i'll have like a room for sleeping and then obviously an actual studio just for all my work and art stuff but yeah so that's super exciting but yeah i think that's it for the moment i haven't got anything else oh also I wasn't going to sell these but now I'm thinking I should sell them anyway because I'm going to be moving anyway so I can make more work for my studio but I'm going to be selling my 2A3 prints and then my 1A4 print so yeah and I can't wait so I'm going to sell my big prints as well hopefully they sell like I don't mind I, I really like them but I just hope other people like them and also because because they're big I'm going to have to like I'm I'll be undercharged myself still, but I still think it's a lot of money. Like I'm probably going to sell them for like 80 or 70 each, which I think is a lot of money. But um, if I had like a big following and if I was an established artist, then I would probably sell it for more money. I'd probably sell it for 200. But I just want my work to be affordable so that people can get it at the moment. But yeah, um, so I want to do that. Also. I don't know how I'm going to ship it, so I don't know if it's just going to be shipped to the UK or anything like that. So that's still things I have to figure out, but I also want to buy our Etsy store, so launches tomorrow, so... oh, I just realised. Because um, obviously now I've changed the dates um, for my YouTube upload. I upload on Sunday, my Etsy shop is actually on a Friday, so I can potentially film the process and like you can see if I get any orders, if I don't, if it's a bust. I don't know. I'm not stressing about it though because, yeah, I create what I love, so people love it too. And that's a bonus. 
Yeah. Um, you can see me paint my next thing in the next clip. See you in a bit. <laughs> If you manage to watch all the way to the end, then well done, because this is, video is very rambly. But it was very productive and creative, and I have done a lot of art things. And I showed this as well in the clip. I finished the back off, I haven't put um, fabric on it yet. But I finished that, and I've created a bunch more, so I'm going to finish that today as well. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I also just want to say a massive thank you guys for all your support. And when I had my Etsy update as well, I put my skateboard on there and someone brought it. Which I was actually really shocked because, I don't know, I just didn't know if there was like a market for that. But there was. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, go follow my Instagram or all those arty things. And yeah. Oh, I also put up a poll because I'm, I'm going to be moving soon. I haven't got a date on a moving yet but it's gonna be really soon and so I put a poll saying moving vlog or studio vlog and everyone has literally messaged me being like both so at some point soon we'll have a moving slash studio vlog <laughs> but yeah thanks for watching have an amazing Sunday and I shall see you next Sunday bye <laughs>